Oh, the Uber is outside. Oh my god, this is my suitcase and this is my second suitcase and I hate that I have two, but whatever. This is my electronics and that is like all the stupid shit. I brought a pillow. I don't know why I'm gonna regret that. I'm gonna get so many plushies when I'm there. I have to go now. Let's go pick up Rosanna. So I finished packing and then we headed to the airport for our 12 hour flight to Tokyo Haneda. It felt pretty brutal to travel for this long, but we had a good time on the flight and we were both super excited and this was Rosanna's first time going to Japan. Good morning! So our first day in Japan, we are about to eat breakfast. So let me show you what we got because I am now completely obsessed about trying all Japanese food that I've never actually tried. Mayonnaise or tuna. <laughs> Soy sauce and broth onigiri. Thick cut sugar toast. Egg and butter flavored thick cut French toast. So I'm like, I feel like this one right now is uh, watering my mouth. Mm. Mm. We've tried the food, it was good, but now we're on our way to see Tonton for the first time since we got here. Now we're gonna go and sightsee at some love hotels. We wanted to check out this TikTok viral love hotel that was in Shibuya called Sweets Love Hotel. Basically all the rooms were crazy, but I don't think that we got one of the better ones. And please don't ever mention my outfit again. Hi, it's Vogue. <laughs> We're at the Love Hotel. We checked out the candy one that we saw on TikTok. This is what it looks like. It's the creepiest vibe you'll ever, ever. You come in and it's like a fucking Charlie's chocolate fabric on crack. It's like super scary. Like, like not in a good, say. yeah, not in a good way. No, yeah. it's like in a very like, I'm gonna die here kind of way. We're here at our second. Love hotel. Is it okay if it takes three hours? Three hours? No. Oh, no. Okay, so they make it after like who has ordered first. So we're like three hours in the line. We were to order. Sumasen, start with this. Rosanna finally got to meet Tonton. We didn't stay there for too long and we headed out and went to the claw machines to pick up some cute plushies. And I won this little queen. I don't know what it is. I think it's a bird, but I love it. I try to show Rosanna everything fun that I've ever done in Tokyo. So we went for some parikaras, which are absolutely insane. But this is so much fun. You get prompts as to what to do, and then it will take pictures of you, which you later on can go out and edit in the photo booth outside. After parikaras, we went to Akihabara, and I was in search of some cosplay. So we went to a lot of cosplay stores, but I did this specifically for a YouTube video that I'm gonna release a little bit later, but you're gonna see all of that then. We ate so much and we had such a good food experience this trip. I didn't always think that the food here was so good, but oh my god, this was so good. This is just one outtake of it. This is the roll band sushi. I had a hard time actually getting it on film when they arrived on the band because they were so freaking fast. It was insane. It's so nice to be able to try it too and not more. Doing so many voiceovers is making me feel like I'm doing a TikTok, but this is us in Kyoto. Rosanna extended her stay so we could go to Kyoto, and we also went to Okinawa, which we've never been to. We are in Kyoto. Look at this little fox shrine. If you only knew how cold it is here compared to Tokyo, like I bought a full new outfit outfits on outfits on outfits and now we're going to like this little cafe that i found on google maps that has like view of this whole uh, lake and everything it's supposed to be really beautiful and we are so hungry rosanna's cold yes let's go we went to this super nice cafe and we got the best matcha latte i've ever had in my entire life this was so good you can also get a fruit massage but we ordered like a sweet potato with cheese and then matcha latte that's hot Oh, you know those. 
cute. Here are some pictures of me and Rosanna in Okinawa because I never recorded anything for the vlog because I didn't think I was even gonna mention it. But we did fly out to Okinawa, which is really, really far down. So it's like a two hour flight from Kyoto, which is insane. And after one and a half weeks, Rosanna returned home and I was left alone in Japan. And, and this is where the first vlog ends. And the next part will be about how I was living in Japan alone for almost a month. <laughs> See you in that one. Bye, I love you.